Hello, good morning, dear friends. In this video, we will have some fun to make our <laughs> simple life complicated. So we will grind some ink. Fill in the water. Uh -uh. <laughs> ah, yeah. Slanted a little bit is easier. <laughs> Whoa. This one out. Okay. Oh, that's an out. And uh, I think I have another one. I want to do it. It's a fun. <laughs> it's fun to hear. Another shape. Already, this one is so quick. Oh, <gasps> okay. So we put these two into our tray and dry it a little bit. They are beautiful, don't you think so? Now we are going to grind things. the design love it <laughs> okay anyway we will get start so um, <clears throat> this time I will start with uh, these inks and different inks so I'd better tell you the story before I get started Sorry. Get some oolong cha and and drink it. Good. So this time I went to China. I bought this one is one o one. Mm, 101. 101 is uh, is one of the best uh, quality of oil ink stick. Oil ink stick, they rank through the purity, rank the purities from 101, 102, 103. 101 is the purest, is the, the best one. So this one is Ding Qi. Um, so this one is Tie uh, Zhai Wen, good one, and uh, some other like this. They 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 show different image because I just want to buy something with different image, but they are the same quality. They are one on one quality. It's very smooth to grind. We will grind it later. I don't know whether we will. We will have enough memories, uh, the, the, the digital cameras, memories, good enough. And you can see this one is 100, uh, it's Yi Liang, it's 50 gram, this one. And this one is uh, Si Liang, four, four times of this, so it's 200 gram. Such a huge ink stick. 
So you need to use a huge ink stone to grind it. Even this ink stone is a little bit small. I have my huge ink stone. And I remember I saw uh, in, in China, I saw one artist does his, uh, his work. And he had an ink stone as big as this, as big as a soup bowl. Not soup bowl for individual drinking. It's a soup bowl for the family to share that kind of oh, huge. I, it is just looks so good. So uh, we will we will we will grind you. We will grind you. Okay, so we will we will grind it. The story I am about to tell is this one is another good quality one. We will not use that. It's tea ink. <clears throat> I went to China and just before I depart, actually, very long time ago, I got one friend sending me email that wanting a piece of tea ink. And uh, she said tea ink is so important and she always, she tried everything but nothing works well and only one piece of tea ink that will work. So I was thinking, okay, no problem, I go to Beijing, I will buy tea ink. And last time I was in China, last year I was in China, and uh, the tea ink was everywhere. So I promised I will buy it. And uh, <clears throat> as soon as I arrived, I said, okay, I'm going to buy the tea ink tomorrow and send you out tomorrow. Then I went to the cultural street shop and to my surprise, there was no tea ink. And I asked every shop, I think there are something like 100 shops or even more, all these uh, same, uh, <coughs> art supply shop. And then finally, I got one lady said, oh, tea ink, I can get it, it's the cheapest ink. And uh, I was quite surprised because I know it's, uh, it does. It is not the most expensive and the most uh, most um, um, delicate ink stick, but uh, it should not belong to the to such a, <laughs> a disregarded ink stick. So <clears throat> I uh, I asked him, "Can you find some?" Then he could not find any, and. Uh, so what I am trying to say is that tea ink, uh, and then I asked another shop, another shop said that uh, usually Chinese do not like tea ink because it is just does not have that uh, solid blackness. And uh, usually for beginners do not like it and uh, Japanese, because their sumie is so transparent, it's a, it's a different style, so they produced some tea ink for the Japanese market, and then uh, it is sold out, and nobody was thinking about reproducing it. So I went uh, all over the street, and uh, I found, <laughs> do I tell you? Okay, I tell you. I found two pieces of tea ink and I bought it. So if you go to Beijing, I do not think you can find tea ink at, the, at, at, at this time because I bought everything I can find. There was only two pieces. And uh, luckily this, uh, this guy did not sell sell me in super high expensive price but uh, definitely um, he doubled the price at least double the price from last year because this is the only one anyway so here's the story and I do not understand why you like it now let's try together to see why we should like 
tea ink. So <clears throat> tea ink is is the same ink stick but uh, has some tea color. Usually when you grind tea to make sure your hand is not too dirty, you can get a piece of paper to protect your hand or use a sticky tape to wrap it around. <clears throat> My mother did that and uh, I do not do that. I will do just like this, which is equally fine. Maybe I should have a, a rubber band for it. One moment. So <clears throat> the the grinding the tea at the beginning is not very um, the sound is not very pleasant because uh, it is a stone against the stone. Although tea ink or any ink stick is uh, is uh, pigment getting into the false solid form. But uh, it is so dry, it is just the same as uh, another piece of, uh, of, uh, of stone. So it's, uh, so you, it's better you, you, you soften it, just to steep into the water. Take a, a couple of minutes, and because it's dry, you can put this way or this way. Sometimes if you put it straight this way, after a couple of minutes, you cannot even open it because uh, the ink absorb the water and uh, become very sticky together. And also, the ink stick is made of uh, pure pigment, the black pigment, which is the, the, <coughs> the smoke of the, of the charcoal, smoke of the charcoal of or smoke of the oil. So it's the same as uh, when you cook some food, the bottom of the, of the pot, the outer, outside, the outside of the bottom of the, of the pot. Let's say this is a Chinese wok. And this part, the outer part, out, not inner part, outer part, has this black. So that is co co collect all these and it becomes pigment. That is a pigment. And then you, uh, d you like uh, all those powders, you collect them together, make a big quantity, and mix with water or mix with, uh, with glue, with, uh, with something else. And then you make like, uh, like dough, like, uh, like uh, a piece of cake, more like uh, a pizza dough. A more like a pizza dough. Now it's much better. So, so I'm grinding the ink, not in a rush. You just to slowly grind it, and uh, maybe you see it is very looks very fast, but it is not fast at all. And uh, in front of the digital camera, it's so close. It shows that my movement is so fast. It is not fast at all, and you do not need to do it very fast. And this tea ink is not uh, the best quality, it is true, it's not the best quality. And uh, the price of, <coughs> of this uh, uh, Arliang to uh, 100 gram is... Uh, is uh, is quite uh, acceptable, so I will not say the price. And yes, uh, sometimes I see online shop or, or where you find ink stick, and uh, they are they are very good price or much better price. And to see the, the, the price of it is to see the quantity of it also. Um, some some ink stick is. Uh, this one is uh, 
uh, er liang, so it's uh, 100 gram, and some uh, yi liang is half of this. Let's see, for example, this one. Let me find an yi liang. Okay, this one. So this one is half of it. And there are even half of this one. It's half by weight, not by size. So it's even smaller and uh, sells. Uh, so if you, if you see, you, you, if you feel that uh, uh, my ink stick is uh, expensive, it's because it's big, okay? So just to explain a little bit to you, I'm not cheating you, I am not uh, trying to, to make an unfair business. It just, so now it is very smooth to grind it. And uh, what, you, what you feel, you feel it's uh, like, uh, it is like uh, a, a layer of oil and you, you glide on top of ice. It, with water, it zoom. It, it moves. So, so let's take a look how this ink goes. I'm going to use this, this poor paper. Too much. Do not make a big deal out of it. <clears throat> so it's really not very black. And if, uh, if you do if you purchase this one and uh, think that it is not black enough, it is supposed to be not black. It's, it is transparent. And uh, I don't think uh, a lot of us will like it, but uh, this one is not supposed to, to, to sell to the people who does not have an interest in it. it but if you... If you are looking for transparent ink, this one is pretty good. Good ink. So when you do some painting, some flower, you do not want it too dark, right? Uh, for example, the um, oil ink stick is used for calligraphy. You want it really dark. But when you do painting, if it is too dark, it overcovers or overshadowing the, <coughs> the color of, uh, of a flower. And it makes it quite dirty, dirty look. Then you do not want. So oil ink stick is good, but... Uh, do not be um, do not be um, non-judgmental to to any of these products. Each product has its own uh, virtue value, and uh, they they are they are there for a purpose. So the luxury this time I got from 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 home is that I can I can get uh, before they sell out I can get different kind of ink and ink stick so that if you if you want you let me know what you use for for example if you use for calligraphy then I can give you a, a calligraphy uh, ink uh, ink stick and the calligraphy brush. If you use it for painting, then I can give you a, 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 
uh, a piece of ink or a brush good for um, painting. Okay, here now let's move on to the <clears throat> for uh, let's move on about uh, the brushes. Okay, okay, this one I'm done with the the um, uh, tea ink stick. We have some more fun and we clean it up and then we try the Qing Mo. And the color is kind of, it does not, I was thinking this one looks warm, but it just looks smoke, very smoky, it does not have that warm, that brownish, reddish color. No, it's tea ink, it's just very um, matte, no, matte. M A T T, very matte, very uh, not shiny, uh, black color. Mm. <coughs> Please excuse me. Mm. And that is this one. And uh, I do not know if I have time to do another video. So, and also uh, about the brush. People ask me what is good for a uh, brush calligraphy. What is good for calligraphy brush? What is good for painting brush? So I went to China this time. I went, asked some good artists in that uh, uh, shop, which I shop all the time. There are many, many artists, very famous artists, uh, went to buy brushes. And I talked to them, and uh, to my surprise, or not, actually not surprise, one of the great artists said, okay, what is a good calligraphy brush? Good brush is calligraphy brush. What is painting brush? Bad brush is painting brush. Why does he say so? He paints, uh, <clears throat> he paints landscape. He said, good calligraphy, br good brush has the edge has the sharpness, and you write calligraphy, you need all this quality of, of uh, a brush. But when you do painting, you see you do a, a, a mountain, it is, what is the point? You, you use a good brush, right? You are kind of, uh, you are kind of, uh, smearing around. So <clears throat> if you have a good brush, do not use for painting. That's what he says. And this one might be too much for, for us because he's a great artist and he does work with, uh, with so much uh, strength and freedom. And what we do, we usually um, are very careful and uh, still use the tip to, to do the mountain and things, right? And we are not yet come to this stage of, of doing painting. And if you see they do painting, they do such a, a, they intentionally make the brush comes out in different shape so that uh, in a very odd, in a very torturous shape so that it comes out a very good, um, Shading, cun, it's a, a not smooth shape. Okay, so, <clears throat> and uh, about more detail of what to use for calligraphy brush, you see? This is, a, this paper is not so good, but uh, if you have a more smooth paper, you can see this one a bit better. Okay, brush, <coughs> and uh, uh, <coughs> there are there are hundreds and thousands of uh, of brushes 
so many different kind and uh, so for 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 a beginner i am thinking my thinking get a, a solid comfortable brush that is good enough orchid bamboo and uh, and white cloud white cloud this is white cloud this is a large medium white cloud and orchid bamboo or oh, this one is pure wool and this one is orchid bamboo this kind of brush is sufficient and only if you want to get some special collection or to want to get something different they 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 are uh, all the brush are, are more or less the same and um it is not the brush difference, it's your hand difference, it's your spirit different. It's the difference or the nuance of that particular moment that make the brush as different uh, character. Otherwise, it's just a brush. Do I make sense? Okay, so... Oh, this one is white cloud. Mm. Now, I... Uh, mm, mm. White cloud. Okay, now we will compare with uh, <coughs> the Western brush. The Western brush, actually, this one I bought in China. Mm. Oh no, this one I bought in Michaels. Actually, this kind of brush, they are made of nylon and it's much more strength, much more strength on it. So you see, it bounces. Each of these here stands, and this one also is so thin but still bounces back because it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, uh, um, it's a, a nylon brush. You see, Chinese painting brush is much softer, but it is not too. And with water, it becomes much uh, strengthful. That is white cloud. And another one is this one, white cloud. This one is cheaper actually. You can feel it. Just goes down. And this one is uh, is my brush. I think this one I bought. Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, no discrimination, but this one I bought in uh, in um, in uh, Michaels. And this one I bought in China. So it da da it bounces back, still bounces back. This one. Now let's come back to see this brush. This goes back directly, right? This kind of brush. Okay, so Chinese brush are much softer, are much softer. And with water, it re regains the st strength. If you want to know the Chinese brush feeling, just uh, rinse your hair or wet your hair, your hair on your, on your head, your hair, yes. And you will see your hair by itself, it's quite uh, uh, <clears throat> some, yeah, people's hair are different. Uh, African hair, very curly and... Uh, uh, Caucasian or European uh, blood uh, hair is very, uh, very soft, and Chinese or, or Mediterranean very strong hair. It's all different. But when you wet the hair, the hair becomes wet. It becomes softer and more uh, controllable, whichever direction. Okay. Now we are going to grind the other ink. This one we are going to try Qing Mo. <coughs> Qing Mo. Qing Mo is uh, <coughs> is the ink that has a bluish cold tone, and uh, because uh, why do I buy this kind of strand? I think because I got people asking me this kind of uh, of uh, of ink stick. Because uh, if you if you buy from the the art supply shop, 
black is black, right? If you buy from Michael's or art supply shop, Indian black is is just a pure black. And uh, China ink, long the sheen, long the sheen, and uh, Indian ink is the same ink. It's all from this Chinese ink or Indian ink. I do not know the origin of the ink, but uh, it is talking about the same thing. Uh, in French, the translation is long the sheen, long the sheen, long the sheen. And in, 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 in English-speaking country, they call it Indian ink. It is the ink, permanent ink, pure pigment, plus some glue. And uh, we both, we, we, we buy from the, from the, uh, the shop, <coughs> already grind it, so you do not need to grind. And those colors are pure black, it's just the black, the different tones of black, some good quality ink, ink, ink liquid has this shining color, shining, shiny, shies, uh, like sunshine, okay, shine color, and a lot of those inks is, uh, is quite um, mud and, uh, and not bright, not pleasant, so this is why we buy ink stick. And uh, this one has a unique bluish co uh, uh, color. We will see it, but um, do not expect you see blue. Do not expect to see even as my hair, the hidden blue in my hair. No, it is not as blue as my hair. <laughs> I dyed my hair blue. Okay, it is not that much. It's just a very... Um, a, a little nuance and uh, by itself it does not show that much especially when you compare with some warm color tea uh, ink stick you can see the difference we will grind and uh, I'm running out of uh, memory space so I'll, I will grind uh, I will start a new video to grind okay so first we try to clean this uh, this a little bit better and then put some water and uh, mm, it's quite good already. So <clears throat> the shape of the ink stick, this time I bought the largest I can find. It's not the largest I can find. It's the largest and uh, the most reasonable price and uh, easiest to carry. There are one one size smaller. I feel it is not so comfortable. And if it is too big, you actually do not need it. This one is uh, is relatively what we are comfortable with. This one really it dries out. Has some this uh, so there you use a good brush for 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 painting landscape right painting is about freedom is about finding finding a new territory that you can express yourself in the wildest, in the most uh, uncontrolled way. And uh, your spiritual freedom. It's not about being a good student. Be bad, as bad as you can, okay, in your heart. Okay, now I will uh, soak a little bit of this ink sdiku and qingmo. So this, ooh, ooh, this one is different design. But they are the same. Okay, I will not read it in case I have some wrong character. Okay, so 
Which one do I? Which one do you think I choose? Okay, I choose this. Okay, now oh, we use this one. Put some more. Two. Mm hmm. And soak it. And uh, it does not sound good, right? Let me torture you. I enjoy torturing you. <laughs> okay. Okay, you have suffering enough. And I will I will get some paper to cover it all. Hmm? It's becoming softer. Already. Already. It is so good. Already. Mm -hmm. yeah. The other video I was doing, wow, wow, wow. And some people like it. And this one I will do. You. Look at it. You. You. You hear it? Ooh, you. It does not hear good yet. Oh, you. It's actually water. Oh, no, not water. Oh, I'm sorry to cheat you. I am very, really, really sorry. Almost there. We have to wait. Okay. Be patient. Patience is the thing. Okay. If you cannot stand, lie down. Yeah, this time in Beijing I was reading a book and really impressed by a 99 years old lady, grandma. She could not read, she could not read, could not write, but said something that's so profoundly wisdom. In our life, we have a certain amount of uh, happiness and, uh, and the sadness. When we finish the happiness, the sadness will come. When we finish the sadness, happiness will come. So, we will chat about it later, but... Uh, but... Uh, take it easy. Life is like this, and... Uh, Oh, it is good. When it is time to come, it will come. When we soak, we prepare the ink enough time and get it comfortable, it will comfortably serve us doing good things to us, right? If you put it immediately under the water, in the water, it will not be good. Some patience and uh, understanding the other side, empathy, empathy, empathy. Understand your counterpart, understand your partner, understand your rival, understand your competitor. It will make your life so much easier. Understand your customer. Understand me. Understand your seller. I am selling you something. Try to understand me. Try to understand my hard work. And uh, I am selling you. I understand if you get something not what you want how much frustration you will get. I understand. I understand. The ink is doing the best for me because I am treating it in the right way it deserves.
Let's see if we can, <clears throat> if we still have time to try it before the ink goes total. Oh, it is a little bit bluish. Yes, 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 yes. You, you, you. Yes. What a surprise. <gasps> Do I have this one? Yes. Can you see this one and this one? This one looks cold. This one looks... Uh, if I do not say warm, it looks at least neutral, right? This one looks cold. Yes! I'm happy to see it. And it's a very, 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 very undertoned. If you do want to get some blue color, it's better you put some uh, a real blue. For example, landscape, you put some, put some blue color and mix with the ink. So this one is a chin more. This video has so this memory card is is already forty minutes and still going strong. This one is it is chin more. It is not shining, definitely not shining, but very a very cool. It's like. Um, Please, do not feel I'm discriminating anything. This looks like a slender young man. 